roads but now let's move ahead to september the 17th 1981 memorial hall in kansas city and nature boy rick flair is the challenger for dusty roads roads at this point is already signed for a match against harley race he beat rick flair in st louis in august a good clean victory right in the middle of the ring but Rhodes' mind now probably a little bit more on Harley Race than it is on Ric Flair as Rhodes removes a gold belt. Ric Flair waiting as Luthez displays that gold belt all around the ring. And let's move ahead a little bit. It's about 25 minutes into the match when Rhodes throws a knee at Flair. Flair sidesteps, and Rhodes, who'd been caught earlier in the match in the figure four leg lock, is once again trapped in the same figure four leg lock by nature boy Ric Flair. Flair came into wrestling like a rocket. He shot right to the top, and Dusty Rhodes knows that certainly Ric Flair is a top contender, but as Rhodes would be the first to say at this point, at this date, at this point in time, his mind was probably more on Harley Race than it was on Ric Flair, but that's no excuse, because every time a champion steps inside the ring, he knows he can lose that gold belt, he knows the pressure is on, he knows what is at stake, and right here, Dusty Rhodes knows that he has to hang on, he has to endure as Ric Flair tries to rip the tendons and the ligaments in the knee of Dusty Rhodes with the figure four leg lock. Rhodes trying to turn it over, maybe he can reverse the figure four on Flair, maybe he can get over to the ropes, that title is at stake, the biggest prize in wrestling, hanging in the balance as Flair grinds away with that figure four leg lock. Fez checks the shoulders of Rhodes. Rhodes manages to get up before the count of two, but his knees are taking tremendous pressure right now. Rhodes again trying to reverse it, trying to roll over with the figure four leg lock, hoping to get to the ropes at the very least. Rhodes using all the power in his leg, and think of the strain right now that he's putting in his own knees. Rhodes ends up underneath the ropes. The referee tells Flair to break up the figure four, and Fez has to pry the legs apart, has to literally pull Flair outside of the figure four leg lock. Flair going outside the ring. He sees that Rhodes is dazed, having trouble getting his feet. He tries to dive bomb Rhodes. Rhodes sees him on the top rope, nails Flair with a punch to the stomach. Rhodes underneath Flair. If he can deliver a suplex from that angle, but look out, the knees give way. The knees give way. And Rhodes falls beneath Rick Flair, and Flair covers Rhodes. Rick Flair. Rick Flair has captured the world heavyweight title. That was September the 17th in Kansas City. And that gold belt is still with nature boy Rick Flair. Despite the fact that Dusty Rhodes is hot on his trail along with Harley Race, Jack Briscoe, Ken Batera, Kerry Von Erich, David Von Erich, and so many others. But now the gold belt belongs to none other than flamboyant nature boy Rick